guys have been about 25 years in captivity, but they expect about half of that in the wild. Why do you think? There's a lot, a lot of things, right? In captivity, it's pretty easy. All they have to worry about is me being a couple of acres my bed. But in the wild, they got predators, the weather, lack of food, lack of water, all kinds of things. But it's okay. It's okay. I got another one. Now, these things here, these guys are our two goats, Lodi and Daw. They are a recipient crew. Here you guys go. Oh, yeah. Always good to be green, right? Now some people ask me, oh, do lemurs make good pets? <laughs> but you know, some people are persistent, so I like comparisons. Now who here has ever owned a two-year-old? <laughs> you ever had one of those before? Okay, well, having a lemur is like having a two-year-old for 25 years. But they don't grow up. They are just as strong as you. They don't speak English, and uh, I don't think these will just throw their poop. But you never know. I wouldn't put it against them. When, when smart animals get bored, you can't. They can't be in charge of what they do. <laughs> oh yeah, you gonna? You just gonna hang on to that whole thing? Hang on to that for a second. You can pet him too. You are so soft.
Oh, well, I'm not touching her. She loves watching my, my emu presentations. Now these, of course, are emus. Emus come from Australia. They are the second largest bird in the world. They average between 120 and 150 pounds and about six foot tall. Now this one here, her name is Monica. Hello, Monica. How are you? Then we have this guy. You'll see this right here? That's it. That's the whole one. Oh, you're fine. Now I would never suggest sharing personal space with an emu. Uh, because they have these big feet, and these feet are good at two things, running and kicking. Now again, I grew up on an emu farm, so I know very well what both of them are like. Yes, I have seen them run, and yes, I've had the tar kicked out of me before. It hurts. <laughs> it does hurt. You're fine. Yeah, we've, we've had them escape back in my house, and I've, uh, had, I was the one who went and caught them. And uh, let's just say it's one of the ones I got me and the bird in the back of my big van, and I lost. 